Hello Internet, Clef here with part 3 of my Blind The Walking Dead Season 1 Let's Play. That's a mouthful. <laughs> um, as you can see, I'm in the pause menu instead of where I normally am. That's because I was just doing this part 3 recording and then something bizarre went wrong. So, once again, <laughs> I have to redo it. I wasn't all the way done though, not nearly, so... I just rewinded to the checkpoint I was up to, and I'm just going to start from there. So, it's basically going to be the same as if I opened up the save file normally, but I'm just resuming because I just went to the menu as soon as the cutscene started. So, basically, I'm heading into town here with Kenny after he was banished from the farm by the guy whose name I forgot. Kenny and Duck. Well... This is as far as we're going. And I'm with Clementine. That's far enough. Drug. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh, all right. We ran out of gas. Fuck! Ah, uh, <laughs> I can't say that I'm baffled by that. <laughs> oh, I didn't get bitten, at least. Uh, the, you can't take risks like this. The door was moving in a way that it didn't look like the lock was attached to it. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too. In a minute, Clem. I'm trying to hear as much as I can before I decide. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Uh, he, wasn't... he wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with it. Oh, your heart. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the f I guess if they have more things to say, I can make my decision, it'll play out, like I won't interrupt them immediately, which is good. I guess I don't have to wait, like I've been doing. Fuck out! Nobody is doing anything! Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! 
Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Oh well, that was all meaningless. Hey, rescue. Ah, mesh. No, oh, why isn't it working anymore? Uh, I guess it was supposed to not work. That's dumb. I don't like that. <laughs> you okay? <sighs> Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Shut up. Oh, is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Ah, uh, his heart. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Uh, yeah, that does sound insane, but... You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Hmm. He's got leadership qualities. Let's see what we got here. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Oh. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I would be cracking up if that worked. It's like, hmm, you didn't turn it on. See what we got here. Batteries? There are no batteries in this thing. 
What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? You, you're not familiar with batteries? Just like plain old double A's. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Ah, uh, yes, I am. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy saved you. Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. What? <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. I better get back to it. Yep. Now then, let's check out this Easter egg hunt. Heh <laughs> Wait, anything of interest? Uh, air show. Q. Computer repair ed. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Okay. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. They're pretty nearby. Whoa. I thought those gunshots would have led him further away. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all the care And if one no. gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Hell no! <laughs> Ooh. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. Hmm. Let's try taking that brick. Can't reach that brick. <laughs> I gotta unlock the fucking door so I can get it. That's lame. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Hmm. How about you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Well, oh. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Damn. 
Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. If I watch this long enough, I bet they're just all walking around in circles. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Oh boy. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Hmm. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear that. Oh, it's a pharmacy guy. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. <laughs> That's you know, weird. <laughs> could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. That would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Alright, uh... Lee's brother? What? I didn't know that. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> How did I know that? We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It doesn't seem like that trap guy is going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then bitten. Jesus, no kidding. Oh, man. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. I saw the, the fucking name tag. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh... Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and locks up well. Maybe there's like binoculars or something inside. I can't reach that brick. Hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Let's head back inside. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> let's see here. Oh! That's handy. Hopefully take battery means two batteries. <laughs> if it's just one and I gotta find another one, I'm gonna be like, uh... <laughs> now. So, I'm also on the lookout for we binoculars or something. To Ducky. I know, hun. Let's chat with everyone. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kid. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. That's true. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I have no idea. They what? They did? Oh shit. 
They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I this is a really weird moment here for me. Like, the, the game kind of telling me that that's my brother trapped there. Well, Lee's brother, but, you know. And that my parents owned the drugstore. It's it's weird to suddenly see that presented to you when you as the player didn't know that. I don't know, it's, it feels a little awkward. Wasn't around much, but yeah, it did. Are you guys alright? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Hmm. Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Yeah. Try to let it go. No point dwelling on it. That kid's got giant ears. Let's see here. Office. Okay. Alive inside? an odd sign. Oh, Clementine's with me. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Aww. Oh. Hey, let's leave. <laughs> no. Uh, Allie? Hmm. This door leads to the back alley. Well, it's a big gas bookshelf in front of it. Yeah, I'll take a look at that in just a moment. See if there's anything else to check out. Nope, I can't. Okay. Eh? What? Alright. <laughs> First aid kit. That's good. Uh, can I open it? Thank you. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Uh, well, maybe something someone else needs. No? Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Don't just think about yourself. <laughs> hey, climb what's up. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. I did. Can you do that more? Oh. Well, I'm not going to go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm going to try. Good. Who's Glenn? <laughs> oh, man. I feel like I should know who this is. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not oh. He's the guy who headed out, um... And has the other walkie-talkie. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. okay. Ooh. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Mmm, that dad shouldn't have had an apostrophe. Ah! <laughs> well, I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Alright. Better get this door clear. What about the drawers? Can I really help? Cool. Nope. Sure. Sure. 
<laughs> I knew he was gonna say sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, mm. it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Aww. Here we go. That childlike optimism. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Oh. <laughs> they don't have a time limit. Uh, let's see. What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, Social studies? <laughs> yeah, like that. Cute. You didn't answer my question. God damn it. A little further. <laughs> I don't think I had an option where I could answer her question. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Man, I don't know what to tell her. Uh, because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Aw. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Ow! Aw, whoa. Okay. Damn. Hurt my finger. Holy Is shit. Bleeding? A little. A little? Blood was gushing out of her finger. That looked horrible. I'll find you a bandage. Well, that's obvious. Do, 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 do. There's a band-aid in there, I bet. God damn it. Oh, good. Yeah, I intended to pick the hand. Oh. Okay, I'll check that out in a moment. the remote for that thing in here someplace. Oh, I should find it. Well, let's take care of... Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted Me? to open it. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Oh, boy. Uh... Me? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah. Aha! It's the remote to my dad's TV. Huh, <laughs> the remote icon. That's what I figured. <laughs> uh, how did I know that was going to be completely fruitless? Oh well. Yeah, let's mend your wounds. Let's have a look at that finger. Jesus. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Okay. Let's look at it. You've got a nice little cut on the underside here. That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for a little while. We need to keep you in tip-top shape. I have a feeling that that dialogue is meant for when you don't have a bandage. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. No. Oh. 
Oh. I was just poking it? I wanted to put the bandage on. With this cut covered up. <laughs> the hell am yes, I doing? Please. <laughs> My bad. Alright, you got a pixelated bandage on your finger now. Oh, is that a checkpoint? Okay, good. I hope that counts a checkpoint, because I'm over the half hour mark now. I know that's kind of a weird place to stop, but it'll do, I think. <laughs> So thanks for watching part three. Uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to express that via a click on the thumbs up button below the video. <laughs> Every time I mention where it is on the page, I'm always worried it's like, you know, YouTube's going to change their design again. It's like, now it's on top of the video and people are going to be like, what are you talking about? Anyway, as of this recording, it resides below the video. So if you like what you saw, click that. And uh, if you really liked what you saw, subscribe to my videos and tell your friends, and maybe they will like and subscribe also. And I will see you in part four.